without any waste of time at this juncture, I will request the man of God, uh, Pastor Chiriga, uh, to unmute himself. I can see there he is. Thank you, Pastor. Welcome once again. We pray that the Lord be with you. He sees you through as we also pray for the Holy Spirit to prepare our hearts. Uh, over to you, Fundis. Thank you so much. Yes, greetings to the saints. I pray that I'm audible if my host can confirm. You are very much audible, Fundisi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, everyone, welcome to our moment and appointment of prayer as we again look into the word of god we need to remind each other of the realities that surround us that uh, here we are on this planet where we have aliens uh, where we have aliens not only aliens but enemies and the bible is clear that uh, we are in a great controversy and not only in a great controversy as for us who are living at this time we are faced with the a critical part of that great controversy where the enemy tries to do anything anything to destroy anything to 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 bind and anything to stop life anything to inflict pain and his laughter can only be kindled when we are in tears when we are down when we fall when we uh, uh, give up when we uh, backslide uh, he count his victories and the, the saints must know uh, these things may i continue to say uh but we must know as the saints our moments of victory our points of victory and uh, this week we want to start to what i can call part one of our points of victory our points of victory um now, I will remind the saints that um, uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse number 7, has it in summary that there was war in heaven. And that war was not a small thing. It was a war. A war between Christ and Satan. Remember that uh, for this war to be won, God had to do something to lucifer he had to change his name that was the first point of the victory that christ had to take besides the fact that the creature was fighting his creator but uh, for the war to be at an easy point not for christ but for us god had to change lucifer's name from the one that means the son of light the son of morning to one that means one of darkness a devil a diabolos satan the destroyer the the, the medara the, those were those were and are the names of the devil even to date and that war was a war between truth and lies between hatred and love between light and the darkness between righteousness and unrighteousness between stubbornness and obedience that was the war it was fought until darkness had no place in heaven until hatred had no place in heaven until unrighteousness had no place in heaven until all lies had no place in heaven. And the Luke chapter 10 records that Christ saying, verse 18, he says, I saw Satan 
falling like lightning. He fell like lightning. Now, that is not a small statement. You need to look at that one. Unless you don't know lightning. If you know lightning, then you must know the, the power, the power of him who cast him down. It was no small power. It was no mere power. It was the power. And the Christ says he fell like lightning. Actually, uh, when Christ said those words, th there was uh, uh, some form of reference there. And the reference was um, he had sent his disciples out to preach the gospel. And when the disciples were preaching the gospel, people believing in the gospel, accepting Jesus as their personal savior, as their Lord, their king, uh, the, something happened. The demons were cast out and they were flying away. That's when Christ said this statement. He actually says, I saw him falling like lightning from heaven. You know, the speed of lightning, uh, when someone falls like lightning, because someone is pushed that someone, someone is pushed that something, and it falls like lightning. It only speaks of the power, the power of the one who is cutting it out. You have used the catapults. You have, you, you, some of you know the speed of a bullet. Some of you know the speed of light, lightning. Uh, of light, some of you know the speed of sound. I, I'm trying to check on the fastest speeds, uh, 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 even our dot com speeds. Uh, uh, you know, the, the way the devil fell from heaven was faster than any of these, and therefore, uh, uh, that that you must take that one as your selling point, you must take that one as your marketing point, you must. Take that one as your uh, 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 PowerPoint. Uh, when the devil was cut from heaven, he was cut in a manner that you will never think of retaining there again. Uh, let me leave that one and uh, also give reference where we once passed by uh, the book of Luke chapter 8. Uh, you see uh, the, the story of Legion. The story of Legion, it's well defined when you go to the book of Mark or Matthew. The, 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 the way uh, 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 the writers, uh, the, 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 the gospel writers put it. I, I, I like uh, Mark and Matthew. They, they said when the demons uh, uh, came out of the man, uh, 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 they were invisible to the eyes. But uh, the, what they saw were the pigs. When the pigs uh, uh, were picked up, uh, were possessed by these uh, demons, uh, and now the pigs had to run uh, not less than 2,000 uh, of them in the direction to the sea. Uh, and uh, the way they were running, the, the graphic uh, uh, description of that movement explains the power of one we had sent them of one we had cast them out from the man the bible says when the pigs were moving it's not like they, they were moving by their four legs they were running by their four legs it, it, it's like they, they were kind of being thrown into trees and the rocks and that they were being torn apart as they all went into the direction of the sea to fall into the sea dead uh, and they perished there. You, you see, they, they, they were being thrown. They were being cast. They were being uh, 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 squashed. They were being, uh, uh, they, they, were, they were not in their control as they were moving. So I see not only the power of Christ who cast them out, uh, but the, the, the pigs had to face it. They had to face the, the power of the demons within them and the, the power of the demons being uh, uh, moved and uh, being pushed and uh, being uh, 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 dragged and uh, being uh, all these things were being done, you know, you know, by the power who cast the demons out. May I say to, to you, may I say to you, dear saints, dear brothers, dear sisters, that description was given for you to read. That description was given for you uh, to know 
that the one whom you believe cannot be compared and contrasted with the devil. He is the creator who created this world, ex nihilo, uh, without anything, even angels, uh, they were created out of nothing. We don't know even the material that God used to create them. Uh, they, they were created uh, 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 by one who, who calls by voice. That's why the, the, the word Luke used, he said to the demons, go, it, it, when you read it, 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 it appears humble. Um, yes, it appears humble, uh, friendly. But when you read from Mark and Matthew, turn to the book of Mark and Matthew and check, you, you will see the power, the exosia. The 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 the, the 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 dynamis in his word when he caused the devil to come out of the man. May, may I say to you that same power is available, is available for you to use when you believe in Jesus as your personal savior. Uh, let's leave that point and uh, let's take another uh, 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 statement, another. Uh, uh, a powerful statement, uh, I call it one of the most fearful statements to speak or to point. This statement that I'm going to read is the book of Numbers. Uh, uh, this, this statement is good for those who have taken Christ to be their savior. Uh, uh, as the first thing. Uh, there are people who take Christ to be uh, uh, their savior from certain kings not their savior from sin. I, I'm talking to those who uh, have taken Christ to be their savior from sin first, then obviously from anything that is sinful. Um, remember, there are two words uh, that uh, you need to know. Uh, allow me to uh, uh, visit the Greek uh, language, the Greek world, and speak to you from that language for the purposes of assisting some of you that you may know what we are talking about. In the Greek language, there are two words that define your weakest point, that define your, your, your ailment, uh, as it were. Uh, let me use the English and give you the Greek words. In English, we are of flesh. And being of flesh, we, 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 we like fleshly things, lustful things, because of that neck, because of that neck. And the Greek words are two. Uh, they are sakikos and sakikoi. Sakikos means you are made of flesh. And sakikoi means you are dominated by the desires of flesh. So here is someone who is of flesh and the being of flesh. Now being carnal, he is dominated by the desires, by the wills, by the inclinations of flesh, by the lusts of flesh. Uh -uh. That person already is a serious ailment is a serious disease. And therefore, my brothers and my sisters, uh, uh, being of that neck, already you are the fertile ground for the devil. And that is why I am emphasizing the point that you must have surrendered to, the, to Christ, surrendered to his will and surrendered to his power. You must accept that uh, John chapter 15 verse 5, Christ says, without me, you can do nothing. We are nothing where, uh, 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 and uh, therefore we can do nothing without Christ. And therefore, the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse 23, let me pick it. Uh, this, this version is so good. It says, for there is no sorcery against Jacob nor any division, divination against Israel. <laughs> Here it is. I say that this statement is a bit fearful. Is a bit fearful to those whose faith uh, uh, is not qualified. Uh, it's so fearful to those uh, whose faith in Christ 
whose surrendered life is debatable, is contestable. The devil can contest your surrender, can contest your faith. But to those who have given themselves to Christ, my brothers and my sisters, here is your, your, your takeoff point. There is no sorcery against Jacob, nor any div divination against Israel. In other words, my brothers and my sisters, the devil cannot extend or stretch his hand against you if you have placed yourself at the right position where you now belong to Christ. The, the, there is no place. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Christ will make sure you never touch the apple of his eye. You have to belong to Christ or no other. Let it be uh, clear in your conscience, clear in your mind who you are. And because of this statement, I want to leave you somewhere. I want to leave you in John chapter 19, verse 30. I want to leave you there for today and for the next seven days. I want you to abide, to stay in that vase, knowing what Christ himself said. That was said in the Old Testament. Now let's hear what Christ says in the New Testament. At the end, when all was done, uh, what is the statement that you need to uh, lay your head, your, 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 your bosom? Here it is, uh, verse 30. I only wanted the words of Jesus. It is finished. Those are the words that I want to speak to the saints. It is finished. When you've surrendered, you life to Jesus. It is finished. The war is finished. The battle is finished. The binding is finished. The, 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 the place of the devil is no more. The works of the devil are finished. His will in you is finished. He has come to the dot, to the full stop, to the stopping point. In you, he has no more place. And the cry says, it is finished. He, the devil's religion in you, his sacrifices in you, his offerings in you are stopped and finished. When Christ says it is finished, the devil's are, are, are plans in you are finished. His prophecy, the, 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 the prophecy of your end, the prophecy of your destruction, the prophecy uh, 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 of your death, the prophecy of your disease, the prophecy uh, of your poverty, the prophecy uh, of your tears, of your pain are finished. M maybe what may be allowed for the purposes of Isaiah 53, that he took our infirmities, he healed our, wind, our wounds. The, for the purposes of that verse, you may get some flu, some fever here and there, but not of, of the devil's will, but for you to keep on the posture of prayer. But otherwise, when the devil sees you, he must change the pathway and his rod. Uh, may, may I say to the dear saints, uh, uh, Christ uh, went to the devil chained. He rose from there a conqueror. Christ went there a prisoner. He came there uh, uh, the powerful. He went to the cross wounded. He came back as the healer. Uh, you need to take your space on the rivet side of Jesus on the cross. I want you to live there on that side that was pierced. I want you to live there to, uh, uh, to leave you there to leave you on the palms of Jesus that, that were pierced. I want you to live there. There is a healing there. I want you to live, I want to leave you there uh, on the feet that were pierced. Yes, uh, uh, they went there trembling, but they came out from there, the conqueror trembling, even the serpents. I want to leave you in the hands of Jesus that went there tied and crucified. But there, remember, that, was not, that is now the hand that holds the scepter, that handles the rod of power. I want you to live there. Find your space on the rock. 
occupying your space as Moses did when God was passing by. He stood by the rock. He held his hands to the rock so that you will not be torn apart. And when he hide on the river side, when he hide on the rock, Moses held the power that moved by. And uh, may I say to the saints, even this morning, that power is available and availed for you. May Jesus bless you. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Father, it is our privilege indeed to be in your presence, to be right in you, to, 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 to find our space, our place on the living side. May you announce and pronounce, it is done in our lives. It is done. God's will is done. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I know the plans that I have, plans for your health and for, for your prosperity, for your growth in faith. Uh, Lord, may you uh, find it well with you if we have found mercy and favor in your eyes to fulfill all the promises of those plans. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much, Mfundisi. We are greatly blessed, Pastor Chiriga. Uh, indeed, Victory Part 1, it is finished. We are going to disperse now to our different uh, breakaway rooms to go and pray. We will be thanking God for what he has done and also bringing our petitions. I'm going to room number, I will see, please, those who are joining us for the first time, do not leave. Uh, do not leave the room or do not leave the group. We are going to our different prayer uh, breakaway rooms and then we'll come back again after 15 minutes where we come to sum up everything. Those who are joining us for the first time, please do not 